I drove down there, and I don't remember the time exactly, but um, right away there was a soldier uh, pointing, and he says, you park there, and you walk up there, and you stay up there. You cannot be down here. And I says, I came down here to say goodbye to Jerry. And uh, he says, you can't even see him. You are to stay up there until the ferry leaves. Then you can come out. And that was, um, I don't remember how long we stayed up there. It was quite a while. But um, everybody was kind of furious that, you know, they wouldn't let us get down there. And you could see the soldiers down there standing erect with their fixed bayonets and loaded rifles. At least they said they were loaded. And everything went peaceful. They just, the ferry left. And that was all. And I don't remember any of who, uh, the people that were up there standing with me. I wish I could remember some of them. I've asked members of our class, but they were not there. Um, Mike Terabocha thought maybe that he might have been down there. And Gina Clinton, or Gina, um, whatever her married name is. Richie, Richie yeah. She, she thought maybe she had been there. Carmen Rarsic said no, she hadn't seen him. But um, at one of the class reunions, Richie Barr um, said he caught the next ferry over and he got up on the overhead uh, in Seattle and, and waved, waved at the guys that they were loading onto the train. Now, I wished I had done that, but I had to go back to work. <laughs>